Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. On Tuesday, someone notified the Floyd County School System and the Sheriff's Office that a juvenile who formerly attended Betsy Lane High School may be headed to the school with a gun. And that was a call which was taken very seriously. When we received the information that obviously he would be, he, there was a possibility he could be on the way to the school, uh, the deputy and school officials both uh, thought that they would at that time go looking. And uh, they did go into the parking lot, and when they did go into the parking lot is when they found this young man parked there in the parking lot. And after a search of his vehicle, the deputy, who was already at the school when the call came in, found exactly what he was looking for. What we found was uh, a handgun. Um, I'm not sure if it was a five-shot or six-shot handgun uh, that the young man was in possession of. He had some ammo for it, some extra ammo. But deputies also found more than just the gun. The K-9 was what was helpful in obviously doing the search, and it came up with some drug paraphernalia and some. the juvenile was in possession of a large amount of money for what a juvenile should have, you know, um, and then some scales to weigh what we think to weigh drugs out with and uh, some other paraphernalia. Although there was no proof of a specific threat to the school or any student, the juvenile was taken into custody for the drug paraphernalia and having the gun on school property. But Sheriff Hunt says to him, this is confirmation that he and the Floyd County School System made the right decision just three weeks ago to place an armed deputy inside each Floyd County High School during school hours. Uh, yesterday, was it put chills on you that um, for the first time we didn't have to make phone calls and try to find out how long it's going to take us to get there. Schools wasn't calling us saying, how long are you going to be? We're getting this information. Everybody wasn't on it because we were already in place. The juvenile was transported to a detention facility and will appear in court soon on those charges. In Betsy Lane, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.